I saw a very cool article recently looking at how we could help compensate for the sedentary lifestyle that most of us lead. The study looked at participants who sat an average of 10.7 hours per day. And they looked at the effect of a very simple exercise that can be done while sitting down. Uh, the, so the patient seated with their knees bent, with their heels drawn just a little bit closer to them so that their shin's not perpendicular to the ground. It's actually the front of the shin makes a bit of an acute angle less than 90 degrees. I'll add a picture. And then in that bent knee position, the person is simply raising their heel up and then setting back down. Raising their heel, setting back down. Not going quickly, going at a sort of normal, kind of easy pace. And in the study, they measured to make sure that they were getting strong soleus contraction. What they found is that if someone did this for 130 minutes, that they would actually, when subjected to a glucose tolerance test, this is just to see how the body processes glucose, their glucose levels were actually 39% lower than the control group. If they did this for 270 minutes, their glucose levels were actually 52% lower than the control group. And the reason that they were able to get these impressive results from such a small muscle is that different from other muscles in the body, the soleus relies mostly upon energy sources from outside of it rather than burning its own glycogen. So they measured the glycogen that was burned in this process by biopsying the muscle before and after and found that its contribution to the contractions in the soleus were negligible. So that all of the energy that the soleus was using for these contractions was being drawn from the bloodstream in the form of glucose and very low density lipoproteins. So they were able to demonstrate this reduction in glucose and a concomitant reduction in insulin. So in that group of people that did this activity for 130 minutes, their insulin reduced by 41%. And if they did this for 270 minutes, their insulin level was reduced by 60%. And this is great news for diabetics because diabetes is basically inflation uh, involving insulin. There's so much insulin around for so long that it's worth less. So when it binds to a cell, it doesn't send as strong of a signal because there's too much of it around all the time. It'd be like if someone's always yelling at you and then they talk quietly, you're gonna have trouble hearing them. What was also measured was the carbohydrate consumption. In the group of people that did this activity, this exercise, the soleus push-ups for 130 minutes, they doubled their carbohydrate usage, the amount of carbohydrates that they burned. And for the group that did 270, well, they increased it by more than 2.5. So pretty amazing increase by just sitting there. If you compare this to walking for 270 minutes, you're gonna get more activity with walking. You're gonna get about twice as much. Doing the soleus push-up for 130 minutes versus walking for 130 minutes, walking is gonna burn about twice as many calories. And if we compare that to jogging, well that's gonna burn about four times as many calories. So this isn't a replacement entirely for other activity, it's more of a compensation for people who are at their desk for long times and don't, uh, and don't feel like they have the time to be able to get out and do other more intense physical activity. Techniques, during the time that they were doing this push-up, the soleus push-up, the oxygen concentration was double that of just sitting there. This study was led by Mark Hamilton and was published in the journal iScience in September of 2022. It's available on PubMed and there's also some other videos on YouTube where you can actually see his facility and see people doing the contractions. Interestingly in their study, they don't give precise advice on how to achieve them, but contracting the soleus is a well-known phenomena and this was already present within medical knowledge, how to isolate and contract the soleus. So I feel like even without very particular instruction and without EMG guidance, you're still gonna be able to do this at home without a lot of effort. It's fairly simple. There may be some nuance to maximize it, but probably without that maximization, you're still gonna get 80% of the effect. You know, I think if, if you're dealing with type two diabetes, Based on this study, I think it would be reasonable to start employing daily doing these activities when you're sitting down. And even if you're not, I and mean, even if you simply want to uh, achieve better glucose control, decrease your levels of bad cholesterol, uh, 
and overall just sort of kind of be preventative that this seems like a good method. It's just important that you stretch your soleus as well. If you're doing these daily, it's possible that muscle could become tight. So getting on the edge of a stair and letting the ankle drop, the heel drop down while the ball of the foot is on the stair, that's gonna be a great way to make sure that you don't get too tight there. And you need to hold it for at least 30 seconds, but two minutes is best. Hey, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Remember, subscribe to my channel and be sure to like this video. If you like this one, check out my other ones and have a great day.